guys, in this video we're going to be wrapping our vines around the brand new Cryptozoa DC Bombshells Poison Ivy Vinyl Figure. All these figures that you guys have been watching over the last several different videos will all be released at the San Diego Comic-Con for this year. So if you're lucky enough to attend the SDCC, why not swing by the Cryptozoic Entertainment booth and you can check out all these collectibles in person. Luckily enough, the folks over at Cryptozoic allowed me the chance to showcase these pieces, give a little sneak peek at some of the stuff that you're expected to see at the SDCC should you be unable to attend, which... Sadly, I'm unable to attend this year. I'm hoping that next year I'll be able to visit the con. Nonetheless, though, here we have Poison Ivy standing on top of the very familiar bomb base uh, bottom. She's standing kind of very playful with her vine wrapped around her entire body, st starting at the ankle area of her shoe and wrapping itself all the way around until she is holding the top of the plant, open mouth and fangs and all, in her hand. The sculpting on the piece is something to come to be expected with the Cryptozoic Little Bombshell. It's just an absolute gorgeous piece. Paint is phenomenal on these, where you've got the little bit of the airbrushing around the top portion of her eyes. But this nice decorative uh, vine work that's not only on the side portions of her head, but also wrapping themselves down the, the arm areas as well. The leggings are amalgamation of kind of a, a kind of a slight swamp green and a more traditional green, which I think the two work very well hand in hand. I like also the little uh, butterfly that she's got on her shoulder. It's one of the more prettier looking head sculpts, I have to admit. And I really like the, I always really like the hair on Bombshell's Poison Ivy, where it's got these wrapped around little bun, bunlets. And then you've got the bangs running down the front. Of course, we can't overlook this big giant flower that's affixed itself to the side of her head painted very nicely in the pink with the multiple petals there as well uh, for your box just kind of quickly looking at the back of the box what they are slated to release is a supergirl the poison ivy and the batwoman uh, i'd love to get my hands on the batwoman i think it, she looks really nice with the bat in the hand and the the old vintage uh, baseball outfit but to take nothing really away from back or, uh, from the Supergirl, I think the Supergirl looks really good as well. Just to kind of give you guys a, sc a scale comparison, just to see how big these are versus, say, the little tins that we just recently looked at, there is the little bombshells uh, Harley Quinn that was featured in the Series 2 tins. Just to give you a size comparison of how she stacks up to the 7-inch version of Harley Quinn, or I should say of the Poison Ivy compared to the Harley Quinn, uh, you can see that she, the Poison Ivy is certainly a lot big, a lot, lot more bigger. Uh, these ones are ideal for if you want like a little small collection. I mean, I love the aspect of these being blind tins. You never really quite know which one you're going to be getting. But I think from a shelf standpoint, when you want to display something on the shelf, it's the larger figures here that I more gravitate towards. And uh, as much as I've collected the smaller uh, little bombshell tin figures. I think the larger figures like like uh, Poison Ivy here are really the ones I'm going to want to get more of and display on the shelf. Uh, I'll put the link, all, all the information down below. So if you guys want to head over to Cryptozoics Entertainment's website, see all the really cool collectibles and the little bombshells, which is kind of really like their bread and butter for what kind of got the got them going with collectibles. I always kind of think more the little bombshells stuff with them, but now of course we're going to be getting the Street Fighter knockouts. It's really a good time to be a collector if you want something a little bit different than the conventional vinyl figure. Today once again we were checking out the DC com uh, Comics Little Bombshells, or DC Comics Little Bombshells Poison Ivy. This was the vinyl figure from the folks over at Cryptozoic Entertainment. If you guys haven't had a chance to subscribe to this channel, what are you waiting for? Hit that little subscribe button down below and you won't miss a beat when it comes to future videos. If you think to yourself, hey, as well, does this guy review other Cryptozoic stuff? Absolutely, I do. You can head over to the Cryptozoic playlist and you can check out all the earlier videos that I've reviewed for them. As always, guys, thanks for watching as you always do. See you next time.